Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this is the quiz time in which we are conducting quiz for the environmental science and those who are new you should know that every Monday on this platform we are conducting this quiz to prepare yourself for the environmental science exam and to know something about environment. So if you haven't checked the rules let's check the rules first. These are the rules which one must read before proceeding for the quiz and these are important if you want to participate in the quiz contest. So two most important things I would like to say. Number one is you should answer the questions in this format given in the rule and the second thing is every month one top performer with the maximum combined score from all weekly quiz will be awarded with a cash prize and e-certificate. So participate more to increase your chances of winning the top performer award. So without wasting much time let's go to the first question. The first question is a peak of movement was started in which of the following years. So I would give you a hint that this is related to protect the trees. So let's move to the next question. So the second question is assertion and reasoning type in which the assertion statement is osteoporosis is a calcium deficiency disease and the reason statement is calcium is an important constituent of bones. So try to identify the correct option. Time is running out. Let's move to the next question. The third question is dash disease arises due to copper deficiency. So you have to tell the name of the disease which is caused due to copper deficiency. Time is running out. Let's move to the next question. The fourth question is which condition is best for the maximum recharge of the groundwater. So try to read every option carefully. Let's move to our fifth question. The fifth question is the most scale for measuring the hardness of minerals is divided into how many points. So what is the total scale in most scale for measuring the hardness of minerals. So I would request you to write all the options in a paper so that it will be easier for you to write in the comment section when the quiz is over. So here we have the sixth question in which we have to identify the correct statements. And the statement one is geysers are springs characterized by an intermittent discharge of water ejected turbulently and accompanied by the steam. And the second statement is the formation of geyser is due to particular hydrogeological conditions. So this is not the geyser used in households. The seventh question is which metal is being commercially extracted from the sea water and the four options are aluminium, iron, nickel or magnesium. So use your common sense and try to identify the correct option. The eighth question is the salt water intrusion is what? So you have to tell what is the correct definition of salt water intrusion. Time is running out. Let's move to the next question. The ninth question is the urban ore is a term used to denote what? So we are moving towards the final question of this quiz contest. So let's move to the tenth question. The tenth question is the chert is a hard fine grained sedimentary rock composed of the micro crystalline crystals of what? And the options are iron calcium, quartz or aluminium. So that's the end of the quiz contest. Hurry up guys and write all the options in the comment section. And if you want to join in our telegram and instagram group, the link is provided in the description below. So stay tuned for the results which will be revealed tomorrow.